Hey everybody, in this video I want to demonstrate how to create a custom content center family column that I can use to aid in my placements. So here's the scenario. So I go to place from the content center and I've got a custom family. I go ahead and grab this custom family. I go to place a component and I have a question. When I go to the number 10 or the quarter inch size, I have a part. <clears throat> I have a nut or some sort of a threaded hole that accepts a quarter 28 threading. And I look over here and I have you to pick from UNC or UNF. Now many of you might know that that's the UNF, but if you didn't know, one of the things that I like to do is try and clarify some of these selection columns to make it easier. So instead of having to memorize all kinds of data about well, what are the UNC sizes for certain fasteners and the UNF, I don't have time for that. We can make the column a little bit more clear for the end users. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and cancel out and we're gonna go up to the content center editor. And so I already have this all prepped. Of course, you have to go find your family. But what we're going to do is we're going to edit the family table. And in the family table, we've got some helpful items. So if we look here, and I'll, I'll just make this a little bit bigger. There we go. We can see that it actually does give us the thread per unit. So if we were to go down to the quarter, we can see that the thread per unit is there's uh, 20 threads per unit, 28. And then as we move to the right, there's a thread type. And then that identifies, ah, so the quarter 20 is a UNC, the quarter 28 is UNF. But what I want to do is I want to create a new column that puts those two together. And I'm going to make that one of our key selection columns. So I'll just right click on the thread type. I'm going to add a column. And I'm going to call this thread pitch. You can call it, of course, whatever you want. And then the column caption is going to be the same thing just without the underscore. So in order to take advantage of the data we already have, because I don't want to reinvent the wheel, I'm going to go ahead and grab the expression and I'm going to grab the properties. So I know that there's a thread per unit. That's the number. That's what's really easy. I can say quarter 20, quarter 28. So I'm going to grab that by double clicking on it and then using an ampersand. I'm going to go ahead and apply an underscore. I just like to space things out a little bit. And then I also want to capture the second half, which is that UNC, UNF type coding. And so I'll grab that other property here, and that's going to be the thread type. So go ahead and make little equations like this. It's super easy to do. We don't even have to map it. We'll hit OK. It produces it, now it's going to be that 20 UNC, 28 UNF. That way if I have just the number of threads, I'll know what to do. If it just says it's a UNC nut, I'll know which one to pick. Try to make it a little bit easier. And then the last step in the process is to click on this key column. And in the key column, we're going to find ours, which is thread pitch. We're going to add that. That's not the most important thing, so we can put that at the bottom of the list. And we're going to get rid of the thread type because we just want to replace it with our field. So the user should now see the size of the, the fastener, the length of the fastener, and then what kind of threading they want. So you can see those are our key columns. We'll hit OK to publish those changes to our table. And then we'll go ahead and test it out in the assembly. So now when I come in here to right click on that content center, I'll look here. There is my family. I'll double click on it. And now when we go down to the quarter inch fastener, those are my lengths. We'll do a one inch. And then I can pick ah whether I want the coarse or the fine threading. And I know exactly what that threads per inch is. So that's it. Really easy to do, but it can be so beneficial to the end designers who are picking the items from the content center. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.